All right, Shalom. I want to begin a lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Rakakwadash, which in the ancient Hebrew tongue would be the correct names of the Heavenly Father, His beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. Also, I would like to give double honors to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much do honors and respect to the sense of brethren out there that's also laboring in his work. And as always, I want to say shalom to the believers. You know, the Akim as well as the Akwath, which will be you brothers, as well as you sisters that subscribe to this truth as well. So yeah, I just wanted to go into another quick lesson, which this sitting right here is going to serve as a cautionary tale, if you will, in relation to the importance of continuing in the correct doctrine and not giving heed to seducing spirits, which present themselves in the form of these wayward ideas and overall heresies, which has proven to be the ruin of many men. As in the case of the men that you see before you, who was actually at one time joined amongst the ranks, but ultimately succumbed to those very spirits. And for those of you out there who would be considered somewhat close to the ministry, well, you would know of late this video has been circulating featuring these two men over the past maybe week or so, which is nothing more than a display of these guys stumbling in their own vomit in a feeble attempt to reconstruct the names of the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. But as I was watching this video clip, something very heavy jumped out to me, in which I concluded to be highly spiritual, in which I wanted to share with you all. So, with no further ado, this is how you cast out demons. So, starting with the Most High, the Grand Makamar. His name is Barbara. Did y'all catch that? Let's run it back. All right. The Holy Spirit. His name is Barbara. So you notice when he mentioned the Holy Spirit, the brother who uploaded the video received an alert from WhatsApp, which came in the form of a scripture, Ezekiel the 37th chapter in the 8th verse, which again I found to be highly spiritual and pretty much served as an example of Yahweh Shah himself chiming in, seeing that it's via the word. And for those of us in the know, we understand, pursuant to the book of Revelation, the 19th chapter, our Lord Yahweh Shah, is referred to as the Word. So why did I come to the conclusion that this was spiritual, especially in relation to timing, as he mentioned, the Holy Spirit, this scripture popped up? <laughs> well, let's go there. Let's pull up the book of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, in the 8th verse. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, and verse 8. And it reads, And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above. Yeah, and this represents those amongst you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there who present yourselves as Israelites outwardly from something as subtle as some knucklehead who fringed one out of three t-shirts in a show of solidarity to the extreme of these self-proclaimed leaders amongst Israel who fancy themselves as teachers. And through their presentation, they have a certain form of godliness 
but it goes on to say, but there was no breath in them. <laughs> but there was no breath in them. Yeah, let's read this again. It says, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Real quick, let's click on this word breath. Yeah, and the Hebrew word here would be racha. And it reads, wind, breath, mind, spirit, spirit, which this spirit actually translates to the Holy Spirit. Now, how do we know this? Well, when you read the book of Psalms, the 51st chapter, in relation to King David's supplication to the Most High, in which he made the statement, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. Well, this word, racha, is the same word for that word spirit in that chapter. Which again, I find fascinating as touching the opening clip which featured this guy mentioned in the Holy Spirit and simultaneously an alert came through in the form of Ezekiel, the 37th chapter in the 8th verse, but they have no breath in them, or they lack the Holy Spirit. And with the naked eye, you might perceive that to be a random occurrence, but for those of us who operate in the Spirit, we understand perfectly well that that served as a token and pretty much one of the wondrous works of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh which ranges from the extreme of a third world's war to, in this case, the casting down and humbling of proud men who exalt themselves against the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh See? Which brings me right here to the book of Ecclesiasticus, the first chapter, and beginning at the 29th verse. And it reads, Be not an hypocrite in the sight of men. Be not an hypocrite in the sight of men, and take good heed what thou speakest. Which when you consider certain men who was once joined amongst the body and broke off for whatever reason, well, in the sight of men or in the form of these videos and live streams and their overall presentation, they was found to be hypocritical. Say again, be not an hypocrite in the sight of men and take good heed what thou speakest. Verse 30, Exalt not thyself, lest thou fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secrets. And so the Most High discover thy secrets, which in the case of these two men featured in this video, well, for most of the time they was amongst us, secretly they was in disagreement with the doctrine. In the case of Masha being King David, or Abba Bivens being the prophet Elijah reincarnated, well, once they began to do their own thing and voice their disagreement, that was an example of the Heavenly Father discovering their secrets. See, again, exalt not thyself, lest thou fall and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secrets, see, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation. So for these men with these YouTube channels in which they openly show their disdain for their spiritual teachers in the form of spewing out madness, and teaching things they ought not, well, that's a case of the Heavenly Father publicly casting them down in the sight of the church, in the midst of the congregation. We're actually witnessing these men wither away right before our very eyes. 
See? Again it says, And so the Most High discovered thy secrets, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation, because thou camest not in truth to the fear of the Lord, but thy heart is full of deceit. Which we know deceit is the opposite of truth. So if your presentation is not in harmony with the testimony of our Lord Yahweh, which has been delegated to the apostles and elders and sincere men here at Great Millstone, then you will be found out to be a liar, which in that event the Heavenly Father himself will cast you down before the congregation. So yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. Lord willing, it was out of fine. Till the next time I say, Shalom.